What is going on, you guys? It's your boy DJ here with more Pentatonix reactions, because that's how we do on this day. And look, if you're new to the channel or returning, thank you so much for all your continued support. I love you guys. I like to get into this, so the links of everything we're about will be in the description below, including our Patreon, Instagram, uh, Discord community, the web store, the whole nine will be in the description below. Do yourself a favor if you are so inclined. This is going to be a Pentatonix reaction on Seasons of Love. Apparently it was a live performance on PBS. So we want to get in on that as soon as we can because, hey, that's what we're about on this channel. I got my headphones right here. I've got Pentatonix right there and I've got you guys right there. Magic Finger does the work. Let's watch it go. Whoa, whoa, who's this? Cool. Again, I have to remind myself it's Kevin doing the drums with his mouth and it's not an actual drum set. I have to remind myself this literally every time I listen to this band. In miles and laughter and strife. It's a good shot. 525,600 minutes. How do you measure a year in the life? How about love? How about love? This is fantastic. This is great. I want to rewind that because it answers the question of what would happen if Pentatonix had an even deeper support structure behind them sonically. So if they had like a choir group like this behind them, how could they play off of that? And what we're seeing is their ability to just rebound off the harmony that that group is setting behind them is, is just phenomenal. Wow. Damn it. I'm like, I'm like dumbfounded by Matt right now. I am dumbfounded. My ear keeps going to Matt for some reason. Great tight vibrato. I love it. So let's talk about what Kirsty did there because it's actually a lot more difficult to do than she's letting on, which is really nice. A lot of times when a vocalist will do the high range stuff like that, what they'll do is they'll kind of pull the microphone away and look at this kind of like, ah, ah, kind of like thing. Uh, what Kirsty does though is she keeps the mic in place for the whole time and rolls off with vibrato, tighter vibrato. Um, Scott's got some wider range vibrato, but th that's just that tight vibrato is wicked. It's just making everything so much better. Let's check it out again. See? Brilliant. 
Brilliant. One more time. Awesome. That's what's up. And then that chord separation at the end, it's its so dynamic because they have the choir behind them even adding more diversity, right? Damn. So, uh, I mean, that, that answers that question. What would happen if pentatonics had a diverse range of a choir behind them to assist them with even wider range intervals of songs, wider range intervals of chords, wider range intervals of everything? What would they be able to do? And the answer is just as good as they could do without, which is awesome. Guys, I hope you like this video as much as I love doing it. Please like, comment, subscribe, but do me a bigger solid, which is wherever you are and whatever you're doing, please continue to kick ass and take names because you deserve it. And as we always say, watch it go.